guys, I'm Anjali. Welcome to my kitchen. Today I am making something unique and exotic with lots of spices and flavor. It's perfect for taking with you on the go for lunch, to work or school, and it's also great for a quick evening supper. You can eat it warm or you can eat it cold, and it's really, really delicious. So we're making Moroccan stewed lentils today, and here's what you need. Some green lentils. This is a cup and a half and I've had them soaking for about an hour. You're going to need two carrots, rough chopped, some celery. I like to keep the leafy green tops in there for extra flavor. You're going to need an onion chopped also, maybe a chili or two depending on your taste buds, two cloves of garlic and you will need some cumin, some chili powder, salt to taste and cinnamon. We are also going to use a bay leaf. And uh, for toppings at the end, you can add some walnuts, apricots, or cranberries. You also need a little bit of olive oil. So let's begin. So you're gonna take the stem off there. And it's up to the chef really to taste the chili to make sure it's not too hot. In my family, we like it spicy, so I'll just keep that step out. <laughs> make sure you wash your hands very, very well after that. And I'm going to chop my garlic at the same time. I'm just going to take the end off there. So I like to slice it. And then um, in order to chop it up small, I will go back over it in another direction. Remember to keep your fingers um, turned inwards so that your knuckles are hitting the knife and your fingertips are safe. You're gonna add a little olive oil. Once your pan's a little hot, you can hear the sizzle so you know it's good. I'm gonna add my cumin seeds in there. Once you see them popping a bit, you can add your onions. Then you can add your garlic and chili pepper that's all cut up. Don't forget to wash your hands. Don't rub your eye. Let that cook off a little bit. So let that cook off a little bit and then I like to add my other root vegetables. So I'm going to add my celery and my carrot so that they have a little more time. So I always add them first whenever I'm cooking with them. I'll always make sure those are some of the first things I add because they're hard root vegetables. They take a little bit longer. Once that's done, you can add your lentils. So you want to wait until your carrots and celery have cooked through a little bit. So add your lentils. and just stir to combine it all. Now at this point you can add your seasoning. So I put a little chili powder, that's optional. And salt to taste. I put about mm, maybe a quarter teaspoon there. And about a teaspoon of cinnamon. I put a little bit now and then a little bit later. So this is where the Moroccan part comes in because that cinnamon smell really makes you think of exotic spices. It's really good. Once your flavors and your spices have cooked off a little, you can add your cooking liquid. I sometimes use vegetable broth. You can use chicken broth or stock. Uh, today I'm using water and that just helps keep the sodium and the salt down a bit. There's enough flavor in the vegetables so I'm just going to go with water today. And you want to add a bay leaf or two if you find a small one. That one's not even a real one. <laughs> okay. Put that in too. Then you're going to want to put a lid on it for about 20 minutes on medium. So turn it down a bit. So for the Moroccan stewed lentils, I just wanted to show you how you can add to and take the dish a little further. I've got some Swiss chard here. I'm going to cut it up. 
This adds a bit more nutrition to your dish and actually gives more flavor as well. As the leaves cook off, it adds to the broth that's in the lentils and it makes it even more flavorful. I've often used kale in this as well. It's a great way to use kale. If you're going to, you remove the rib as well and then just chop it the same way you would do this. Uh, Swiss chard is excellent. It's a very, very mild taste, kind of like spinach, but a little bit of a deeper flavor. So I'm just gonna add this at the final uh, few minutes of cooking to the Moroccan lentils. So just add your leafy greens and that'll cook off in no time. So make sure you only add it at the very end of your cooking process. Just, just a few more minutes and this will be complete. I really like that Moroccan flavor to come through so I put a little more cinnamon at this part. So just to finish this dish off, I'm going to add some apricots, some dried apricots to that. Mm, it's going to be good. Add some cranberries and a little crunch with some walnuts. And that is a beautiful, delicious, spiced Moroccan lentil. It smells amazing. It's very, very aromatic and it has a perfect balance of salty, sweet, should anyway, let's see. Hmm, it's really good. If you eat this um, warm like this, it's gonna be kind of like a nice stew. If you want, you can also eat it cold, save it for the next day, take it to work, take it to school as a nice uh, exotic dish to have at your workplace for lunch. It's a nice pick me up through the day. You'll get really nice bites of sweet and salty, savory, a little spice in there. It's really delicious. I love the crunch as well. It's really good. Hope you guys make this at home. If you do, let me know how it goes. Leave me a comment below and definitely subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. See you next time on The Lifestyle File.